How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt with Laguna Del Hyundai. Today we're going to be checking out the 2022 Kona N. Although I am standing in front of the N line, this is more of an aesthetic package that makes it look sporty and very similar to the Kona N. The Kona N, however, does have more horsepower, a stiffer suspension, and a variable exhaust that does change from comfort, sport, and the end mode, which you'll be able to see in this video whenever we take the car out on the road to see how it handles and how it sounds. Driving the 2022 Kona N in normal mode is very comfortable. This is going to be the softest and most uh, dailyable setting that you can use in the Kona N. It does have very stiff suspension, but it's normally whenever you're in sport or N mode. You can also feel the lightness in the steering. It's very easy to drive. It's very comfortable over bumps. We just went over a bump there, barely even felt it. Uh, the throttle response is still great. You can still feel that 2 liter turbocharged motor whenever you get on the gas. Brake feel is still nice and easy, not too bad whenever you're driving. You're not going to throw your passenger through the front windshield if you're trying to drive comfortably. So now let's go ahead and we'll switch it over into sport mode. You do this by just switching this dial here to the right one click. You'll, you can notice inside the cabin that the exhaust valve has now opened up and you can hear that two liter four cylinder open up and really make some noise. You can notice immediately the suspension stiffness gets up there. As we go over a really bumpy road here, you'll be able to hear the, no the notable difference in suspension feel. Another thing that you'll notice is the response from the transmission. Like now I'm gonna use the paddle shifters using that wet dual clutch transmission and it makes it really easy to use. Gives, you, gives the driver complete control over the vehicle no matter what you're doing, whether you're trying to go slow, go fast around the track, doesn't really matter. The steering is noticeably heavier. It's very accurate. You don't have to turn the wheel very much. Here's a full U-turn. Didn't even do a full turn here of the steering wheel. But like I said, the transmission is very smooth, very soft, but that suspension definitely gets a little stiff. As we accelerate using this transmission here, wheelie just went by. Shifting the transmission yourself is really easy with these paddle shifters. If you wanted to use the shifter down here, you can. Just go ahead and shift it on over and then you're able to then move it up to downshift and move it down to upshift. Now going from sport mode to end mode by using this right button here on the steering wheel. Go ahead and push that. You then get this nice center tachometer with your speed right in front of you. You also got your oil temperature, engine temperature, your a PSI gauge, even for the turbo, so your boost gauge. Also, you've got a torque meter right here telling you how much torque you're using. And then even just going from the Sport to the end mode, you're able to notice the suspension get a lot stiffer, and the steering is a very accurate, just like you're using a weapon, whether you're on the track or even on the side streets. Transmission is equally as fast and precise, just with the flick you can hear that exhaust all the way down to second here. Super fast. That 267 horsepower from the single turbo four cylinder is just great. Hyundai did a really great job with making sure there was power all the way through the revs, no matter if you're really, really low or you're still wrapping out all the way up to the 7,000 RPM red line on this car. So now let's go ahead and try to hear that exhaust a little bit, the pops, the bangs, as you can hear now, get a really good turbo sound. And whenever you let off, nice little burbles in the background there. As you slow down, start to apply the brakes, downshift once. Sounds wonderful. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> that was funny. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very fun video of taking the Kona N out on the road. Once again, my name is Matt from Laguna Niguel Hyundai. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.